Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video, today we're going to talk about direct and inverse variation. First of all, let's take a look to these two things. Direct variation, the quantity varies directly. Okay, these are the equation you can use. Y equals kx. And this one, it's a good one, but most of the time we're going to use this. Okay, uh, then you can find the k if you know the values by doing a quotient between y and x uh, most of the time. And then we have this form, which is very useful. And an inverse variation, this is the one that we're going to use most of the time. Okay, these two also are good. And this one, whenever you have uh, uh, to find some missing uh, uh, values, you can use this proportion. Okay. So let's see some example. Okay, first of all, we're going to look here and see is this direct variation or inverse variation? Okay, so that is very simple. We'll look, 2 and 8. 2 times 4 is 8, right? 4 times 4 is 16. 7 times 4 is 28. And times 4 is uh, 40. So, easy way to see this is. A type of variation and this one will be direct variation. Whenever you go by multiplying or divide, direct variation, right? And the formula will be y equals uh, kx, right? In this case, will be 4x. So, take, go ahead and take a look on number 2. If you end up with this equation, yes, direct variation, we can see multiplying by 3 when you did a wonderful job. Right. Now let's take a look to this example. Right. Here, if you take a look, and you may say, hey, 2 times 4 is 8. Well, if you take a look here, 4 times 4 is not uh, 16. So that is not good. So another way to look is by multiplying the uh, x and y, if you remember. 2 times 8 is 16, 4 times 4 is 16. 8 times 2 it's 16, 16 times 16. That works only when you have inverse, inverse variation. Okay, and if you remember x, y equals k, right? So if we want to write the equation here, we're going to have y equals k over x, that's another way we see it. And k is nothing less than 16, so in this case we have y equals 16 over x. Okay, in other words, right, if you uh, plug 2 in here, right, you get 8, you plug 4, you get 4, and so on. Go ahead and try number 4. So if you end up with inverse variation, you will correct, this is inverse variation. Because if you multiply, you get 20, 1 times 20, 20, 2 times 10, 20. And this is the relation that will model this situation. Right. Now we'll look to some other problem. Right. In this one, we know x and y uh, reduce directly, so we need to find the uh, x in this problem, right? So if you remember, we have a formula that looks like that, y1 over x1 equals y2 over x2. This is a very good one way to use this formula, but you can use uh, the other one, uh, y equals kx, and find k if you want. But I'm going to use this one. So here we have y1, eh? y1, it's 4, it's given to us, it's this guy, over x1. Eh? That one will be negative 2, also, it's given to us, equal. And now we need to go to the second part. Uh, y equals 6, right? It's this guy. And we need to find x. So from here it's simple. 
cross multiplication for x equals negative 12 divided by 4 x equals negative 3. So that is the answer for number 5. Go ahead and try number 6. If you end up with x equals 4 for number 6, then you did a wonderful job. Now let's move to these two problems. Here we have inverse variation. So we're going to use x1, y1 equals x2, y2 uh, as a way to get the s. Of course, you can use, uh, if you remember, uh, the other way, y equals k over x. Find k and go from there. But let's use this one. So we have here x1, that is negative 2, times y1, that will be 4, equal x2. This is the guy we need to find, so we can really call it x now, and y2, that is 6. So we have here negative 8 equals 6x divided by 6. We end up with x equals negative four thirds. Okay. Pause this video and try number eight. If you end up with x equals 1, then you did a wonderful job. If you notice, 7 and 8 are, similar, are the same problem, like 5 and 6. The only difference is the way the x and y uh, behave. The direct variation in the previous slide, here is inverse variation. You see that the answers are very different, so it's very important to notice what kind of variation you have. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more video clips. Thank you.